Okay. A truth or just asylum? We earned our hallucinations and paid for them. Wow. That was the loading screen thing. And this is what I mean by the visuals being just cartoony enough to not age horribly. Like, this is 11 years old graphics, and it's still... I could release this today, it would be fine. Not for like a triple A game, I guess, but... Triple A games these days suck balls anyway. Most of them, not all. The dodge animation is so cute, they turn into butterflies. Our lovely library was a fire trap. A conflagration waiting to happen. You heard it here, kids. Books kill. Throw them all out. Don't read. Well, except on your iPads, that's okay. You can read on your iPads. A worker's paradise, and you don't have to die. Not a cheap slogan, we really care. Fight the good fight. Work until you expire. Substantial rewards in heaven. It is better to give labor than to receive pay for it. Words to live by. You can eat them too. Well, five years from now, they'll probably have a uh, communism by the sound of that guy. The game clearly wanted me to upgrade the pepper grinder next, but I don't care. Just upgrade the blade. While you were upgrading the pepper grinder, I studied the blade. An alternative path, just in case I'm about to miss out on something. What? I was just sniped out of the air, holy shit. But also, it, there's not enough time to aim, like it takes a second or two. By the time you hear the laugh, he's already throwing them. And then he teleports somewhere else. <laughs> you see, I was... And even when I catch him, I'm aiming directly at the bombs. And it's just not hitting. This is so stupid. Like, actually, fucking... How? Yeah, just lock on and then you don't need to aim, like... This game is all about, uh... Making... Forcing you to... <laughs> not actually use... Any skill, but just... Just lock on and press the button, it's... it's simple. Here I was... Trying to aim. Is it that it's more fun to actually aim? The game says no. This looks like it should be a skill based fight, but really it's just a wait until he pulls out the bombs. And then hold down the button. <laughs> At least the lock-on doesn't disappear when he jumps around. That would be annoying. I hate disappearing lock-ons. Like, if you have a lock-on in your game, yeah, this is how it should work. It should... You should just stay locked on. No matter fucking what. Well, of course, unless you press the button to remove it. 
or the enemy dies. Is there a way to get there? Like, what if I jump into that, uh... Or what if I jump right through that little boat? Bastards. Hate fake stuff in games. <laughs> like, fake as in stuff that you fall right through where it's clearly a solid object. I've had that happen in Dark Souls of all, all, all games. Something that was like intended to be just a kind of scenery. And I thought it was part of uh, part of some platforming secret. That one wasp stuck somewhere. I think I never killed it. And I guess now I Guess now I can't move on because it's stuck, I'm not sure. It's like somewhere here. There, <laughs> I got it! I was stuck in a fucking wall there, holy shit. Confront what frightens or offends you. Reckless or insulting talk should never go unchallenged. Gee, this guy is, uh, sounds like some kind of, uh, uh, what's the correct term? Or, uh, like a dude bro who will not suffer any disrespect and all the, all words are fighting words. <laughs> they get a bullshit. It's like, calm down, this is not the 19th century anymore, you don't need to fight a duel with everyone who looks at you sideways. Well, I mean, I guess the game does take place in 19th century, <laughs> so it might be different for him. Fucking unlock. <laughs> they keep jumping in and out of the fucking stupid immune mode so fast. It's like a garbage mechanic to begin with. They should not have it. Nothing should have it. So dumb. And the fact that they can attack in the immune mode? Like, I can somewhat accept enemies with immune modes where they have to come out of it to attack. And so you can just ignore them when they're unattackable, but this is just, like, it's doing damage, but you can't do any damage to it. Like, get fucked, devs. Just bad. Why are there three piglets in a jar? More importantly, why can't I break this jar? Also, they're rats, not piglets. Oh. Oh, I touched them while they were stationary and held together in the middle. Oh my god, this is so cancerous. This is serious. Seriously, the least forgiving. Um. Hitboxes I've ever seen in my life. Hey, so that's it. Uh, whether or not the thrill, the train thing really happened in the end, who knows? Anyway, so it's a eleven-year-old game, I guess. If I remember correctly and it still looks fucking gorgeous all the art is 
awesome. There's like five different worlds with each with their own kind of art style, but all in the same technique. I might be messing up the terms, but I hope you know what I mean. Basically, I'm saying there's there's varied art, and it's all in this uh, kind of cartoony style that makes it timeless. So yeah, I get only good things to say about the art. Um, not as much about the gameplay. Oh, the plot also. The plot is cool. <laughs> like dark but it, the way it's uh, slowly revealed throughout the way especially if you find a lot of the memories yeah that's that's some good storytelling um, but yeah finding all the collectibles is a bit of an issue because a lot of the time it's hard to tell what is the proper what is the main path and what is the secret? What is the optional? What's the collectible? So I think I missed most of the ones that I missed by just accidentally advancing in the game. And then like, there's just no way back often. Like a door shuts behind you, you drop from somewhere and it's gone. I loaded several times just to, just to get some of the secrets, but it wasn't always possible. So that was a bit... Eh. But, well, my greatest complaint is probably the mechanics, which, like, they're good enough, I guess, but especially since I was playing on a hard, I, I assume it's even worse on Nightmare, like, on the, during the hardest fights, the, I don't know if glitchy is the word, the the rough combat controls really show themselves. There's lots of little delays when switching between weapons or uh, toggling uh, the lock-on on and off. The lock-on is janky, like it doesn't always lock on to the thing that's in the center of your screen. Sometimes it will grab something random. Uh, then the dodge doesn't always respect the direction you're trying to dodge. So sometimes when you're like trying to dodge, say, left, and you're holding down the left button and spamming the dodge button, and you're like dodging in some kind of zigzag in random directions, like without changing the buttons that you're pressing, it, it switches the dodge directions. That sort of shit. Um, yeah, also hitboxes are brutal. And not in like a good way, but that's more, more to the environment, not the enemies. Like, you you go anywhere near a little spike, and you're in, you count as impaled on it, and you fucking die. So yeah, I guess you could call that as having aged somewhat. Um, all together, it's probably still like a. Strong 7 or weak 8, even if looking at it from current year, 2022, this game is still really good. I don't know if we'll ever get the sequel that's been in pre-production for I don't know how many fucking years. But there's a Patreon that you can support for American McGee. He, if you do, you can get into his like Discord and get access to all kinds of shit yeah I'm not super hopeful on it actually coming out anytime soon like in the coming two or three years that would uh, that would be a really pleasant surprise